Niclosamide is an orally bioavailable chlorinated salicylanolide, and it is an antiparasitic drug indicated for the treatment of tapeworm infections in both adults and children. It is also utilized as a molluscicide for controlling schistosomiasis. Niclosamide received FDA approval in 1982. Previously marketed in the United States under the brand name Niclosamide, Niclosamide was voluntarily withdrawn from the market by Bayer in 1996. In recent years, Niclosamide has gained attention for its potential as a multifunctional drug through drug repurposing screens, showcasing its versatility beyond its original indication. Niclosamide derived from salicylamides, belongs to a class of potent mitochondrial uncouplers. Mitochondrial uncoupling refers to the dissociation between the generation of mitochondrial membrane potential and its utilization for ATP synthesis, a process essential for cellular energy production. As a mitochondrial uncoupler, niclosamide disrupts the coupling between the mitochondrial membrane potential and ATP synthesis. This unique property of mitochondrial uncouplers allows them to target multiple oncogenic pathways simultaneously making them advantageous compared to other drugs. Niclosamide has been found to activate tumor suppressor signaling pathways, such as P53, PP2A, and AMPK, while inhibiting oncogenic pathways including Wnt beta catenin RAS, STAT3, NOTCH, E2F-MIC, NF-kappa-B, and mTOR. This broad range of targets contributes to the anti-tumor effects of niclosamide. Additionally, Niclosamide has been found to inhibit androgen receptor splice variant 7 or ARV7. ARV7 is a splice variant of the androgen receptor AR that has been implicated in resistance to androgen deprivation therapy in prostate cancer. Overall, niclosamide's ability to act as a mitochondrial uncoupler, modulate oncogenic pathways, and activate tumor suppressors makes it a promising candidate for cancer treatment with potential advantages over other therapeutic agents. The usual dose of niclosamide for adults is 2 grams on day 1, followed by 1 gram once daily for 6 days. In the context of arthritis, niclosamide has been repurposed with a dose of 1,000 mg per day for 8 weeks. For COVID-19 treatment, niclosamide is administered orally at a dosage of 2 grams daily for 7 days. Common side effects of niclosamide are uncommon. These may include decreased appetite, vomiting, diarrhea, taste impairment, and dizziness. A phase 1 trial conducted by doctors from the University of California investigated the use of niclosamide in hormone refractory prostate cancer. The results from the trial indicate that combining abiraterone, prednisone, and niclosamide is safe for patients with metastatic castration resistant prostate cancer or MCRPC. Combination therapy was well tolerated, with the most commonly reported adverse effect being diarrhea. Among the 8 patients evaluated, Five demonstrated a positive response in terms of prostate-specific antigen PSA levels, with two achieving undetectable PSA levels and a radiographic response. Although this particular trial focused on MCRPC, the potential impact of the combination therapy could extend to other types of cancer.